My name is Jet Krauss. I'm in the cardiac cath lab in Carbondale, Illinois, and now in the new electrophysiology lab. We do cardiac ablation here in the electrophysiology lab, and, and we take people who have had atrial fib and send them away without atrial fib. It's a flip side of the cardiac cath lab, and I'm grateful to be here. It's very different. I'm Daniel Correa. I'm an electrophysiologist or electrician of the heart of Prairie Cardiovascular in Carbondale. We started doing ablation procedures at Memorial Hospital about a year ago, and we've performed over 100 of those procedures this far. We work concentrating primarily into the electrical issues that can give rise to abnormal heart rhythms, fast or slow heart rhythms. Care begins before we roll in the door. When we greet the patient, we want to automatically start giving them the assurance that they're in the right place and in the right hands. And we get them on a table in an unfamiliar place and get them hooked up to 20, 30, 40 wires, depending on the case that we're at. It's very discomforting for the patient, and so we want to give them assurance around every corner. The patients in the EP lab are sometimes sedated and sometimes they simply receive conscious sedation. Much like drawing pictures on an iPad, which everyone today is familiar with, with our 3D mapping process, we have the ability to actually take a catheter inside the atrium of the heart and draw a three-dimensional picture of the left atrium of the heart. Just like a photographer having two cameras, it enables us to have the two best views of the heart at the same time simultaneously. One camera will separate the top of the heart from the bottom of the heart or the atrium for the ventricle, while the other camera will separate the right side of the heart from the left side of the heart, the left atrium from the right atrium. Well, it means that we have the capability of performing uh, the electrophysiology procedures that any tertiary or quaternary hospital has. We have the same or better equipment than most university programs in the U.S. And we have a fully developed team dedicated for electrophysiology to take care of them during this process. The doctor has four additional sets of eyes on the cameras besides his own. He has the monitor tech observing the electrograms continuously. He's got a scrub tech help, helping him with all his equipment. He's got an x-ray tech that is helping with the imaging and the images, and he's got a nurse at the head of the patient, giving the patient assurance, delivering medications as they're needed. An electrophysiology exam involves multiple catheters, each catheter attached individually separate cables to the computer system so that we have internal electrograms of every of each individual spot along the electrical pathway within the heart. When we find a pathway that's not normal, that's when we'll do an ablation. An ablation is a creating of scar tissue across the pathway that's not supposed to be there so that the electrical will be diverted back to the pathway that is supposed to be there. With the addition of electrophysiology to Prairie Heart Institute's cardiovascular program, we have almost completed the circle of what we can do for patients in Southern Illinois. I feel good and I feel that I could help somebody, that uh, a person might be feeling better because of something that we accomplished. I, I feel good when I feel that uh, we have done our very best to try to help that person.